all collectors and gift givers. Today, we are taking a look at Barbie Big City Big Dreams playset. We ordered this from Target.com for $29.99. There are 20 plus pieces included. We can see a lot of the smaller accessories on the side. Then on the side of the box, there is a list of all items included. Then on the back, there are pictures of the setup and we can see different ways we may play with this playset. What I am not seeing is any information about Barbie Big City Big Dreams. In the bottom corner, we can see like a little movie poster with the names Brooklyn and Malibu. So I did a little searching around the web and there are several websites saying that this is an upcoming movie for fall 2021, where Barbie meets Barbie. That's right, according to my information, both girls are named Barbie, so they go by the nicknames Malibu and Brooklyn. Here are the dolls, priced at $9.99 each, bringing us to a total around $50. There are other items in this collection like singing dolls, but this is what we are looking at today. Let's get everything out of the box for a closer look. Everything has been taken out of the box. Some items are wrapped in plastic, like the bed but there is pretty much no assembly needed. Well, you do have to put the TV on the TV stand, but other than that, everything is ready to go. This playset comes with a backdrop. It's a paperboard trifold with a printed image on one side. It's about 15 inches across and 12 inches tall. There is a window in the center. We can look out to see the city. Looks like a small balcony. We have curtains on the sides with lights. We see some shelving units, a plant, and a little locker unit. This playset comes with two pink beds. Pretty simple design with no headboard or footboard. Molded on covers as well as a pillow, but the pillow is painted. The second bed is the same. It just has a black and white pillow. We can put the two beds in the room, but up against the wall, we're gonna cut off part of the locker and a little bit of the plant. I guess we could put them to the side or just outside of the frame. They come with bedding. The fabric feels similar to most Barbie bedding. This one is green with blue flowers. The other is a striped pink. When placed on the bed, it hangs over on the sides just a little. I think we could totally use the bedding as a rug as well. There are two plastic throw pillows. One has a rainbow and the other is a heart. There is a lavender plastic bean bag. We have seen this design in other play sets, along with a green colored footstool and a pink entertainment unit with a television that shows the image of a concert and has sticker details underneath. We also have a pink bowl of popcorn, two water bottles. One has a peg in the bottom and the other doesn't. The one with a peg is designed to fit inside of Barbie furniture, just like that. We have a pink laptop that shows the image of a conference call. The image is a sticker and shows some of the characters from Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures a remote, a plastic book about ballet, two bags of candy, a purple cat clock, and a plant in a panda pot. The plant is removable if you want to take it out. And it comes with a large orange plastic couch. Where am I supposed to put this? Looking at the box, it seems like the idea is that we just pull over the pieces that we want to create our scenes. So here we have a bedroom set up. Then we can switch to like a living room or just use one bed at a time. The dolls are sold separately. This is Brooklyn. She has dark colored braids, painted baby hair, large brown eyes with freckles, she wears a silver and black and white top attached to a faux denim skirt. It is all one piece and Velcro's in the back. 
She wears a pink hip bag or fanny pack and pink translucent shoes with glitter. Malibu has straight blonde hair, blue eyes, a pink lip color, wears a printed denim top, and a pink star wrap skirt. The top and the skirt are two separate pieces. The top velcros and the skirt has an elastic waistband. She carries a black purse and wears white tennis shoes. Both dolls have the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. They can sit on the furniture, however, a knee joint would have been a nice little touch. In my opinion, of course. In fact, I think it would be fun if we tried to make our own room. You know, like a room with furniture that could be switched out from a bedroom to a living room. Sounds to me like it's time for a versus. Craft time! I am going to make this in a hidden doll room using foam board. My foam board measures 20 by 30 inches. If it's laying 20 by 30, I cut 7 inches from the top, leaving me with a 13 by 30 inch piece and a 7 by 30. Usually I cut an inch off of the 13 by 30 inch piece, but I want this room to be as large as it can be, so we're not gonna do that today. So let's measure over 11 and a half inches on both sides. Score the line, being careful not to cut all the way through, so it can bend and snap. If we repeat on both sides, we end up with a trifold that we are going to use for the walls of our room. Take the seven inch foam board, put it into the corner, make a mark at the end, and trim off the excess. So now we have our walls and part of our floor. On this wall, let's cut a window. I made a pretty tall window because it is supposed to look like you can walk out onto a balcony. I used packaging from the Barbie Big City Big Dreams playset to tape onto the back for glass. I am going to cover the outside of the box with one of our brick printables stopping at the bend. Cut strips of leftover foam board to frame it, giving us an outside wall. On the inside, let's frame it with black foam board instead of using curtains. And that's gonna give us a little contrast in the room. I cover the floor with scrapbook paper. I covered the edges that will be visible, then glue it into place along the back and one of the sides to make a corner room. I want the floor to continue, but we're gonna add shelves on the wall, so I need to make it separate. I cut and cover another piece of foam board to fill the space. Hmm, it's bowing a little. I'll just place something heavy on it while it dries. Take leftover foam board, and remember, you can always substitute cardboard for foam board. Given the size of this room, our furniture is gonna be a little under scale because we have to fit two beds in here. Since our walls are 11 and a half inches, I'm gonna try to keep the bed around 11 from end to end. But I wanna add a footboard and a headboard, which are gonna be probably about half an inch each, so the center of our bed needs to be 10. I cut a four by 10 inch rectangle, four by three inch rectangles, and glue a few together. The number of layers is up to you. I chose to go with three. I cut two strips that are 10 by one and a quarter, glue them underneath the four by 10, then glue it onto the stacks of foam board. I have about an inch of space at the top to make the shape of our bed. Cover it with felt or fabric. I'm gonna go with a crushed velvet and cover the center first gluing it underneath. Then I cover the sides and it's starting to look pretty good. Cut thin strips of the fabric, fold over and hem both sides, glue on the strips to cover the seams, creating a nice little neat covered bed. And it just fits in the room. I know you're thinking this doesn't really look like a bed yet, but it will when we add a little bedding. Make a thin pillow for a mattress. I like to do a layer of just felt or fleece on the inside. Then add a comforter. 
make a standard pillow, a throw pillow. I'm going to add a little blanket at the bottom of the bed with some trim. I am so inspired by Joy Bird on Pinterest, Oh Joy on Instagram, Opal House from Target, and Domino Magazine. So I'm trying out some new styles and fabrics today. Make two, so we have two beds in the room. I do want to see a little more green in the back, like a headboard. So I cut two layers of felt and two layers of fabric, have the fabric laying good side to good side, place the felt on top, sew around the edge, leaving an opening so it can be turned inside out between the layers of fabric. Stitch the opening closed. I want it to lay a little flatter, so I'm gonna just stitch some lines going straight down about every inch to make a cushion to place behind the headboard to make a larger headboard. Now that we have the two beds, let's add some shelves to the walls. I take leftover strips of foam board, cover with scrapbook paper, then glue them to the walls to make shelves, add a few books to match the space, one of our potted paper plants, a little bottle of perfume from a previous video, and other crafts and miniatures. Next, we need a small ottoman or a footstool. So we're gonna use the rope-covered ottomans from our boho chic room. And we can just stack those together. We need that cityscape outside. So let's use our New York printable background. We are supposed to see a balcony outside that window. So I take leftover foam board and cut a piece to six by 10 inches. Cut more foam board to make side walls. Cover with paper. I'm using our concrete printable. Glue them together to make a small corner room. Trim the top with white foam board to make a balcony that we can place outside the window. Add a few paper plants to give us a room with a view. I'm using a cut piece of fuzzy fabric for a rug. Instead of making the bean bag, we are going to modify our stool design from a YouTube Live where we took a bottle cap, cut a circle of fabric and a long strip, place the circle onto the cap with the good side facing down, then sew on the strip with the good side also facing the inside. When I started, I moved over just a little bit so that we would have an end so we can attach them and sew them together. Then I sewed down the side. It's not the neatest, but that's okay because we'll just put this in the back. Remove it from the bottle cap, turn it inside out, add a little pillow fluff to the bottom, then put in the cap, take the ends, tuck them underneath and glue them inside the cap. Glue wooden dowels underneath make another cushion, only this one is a little shorter. I cut it at three and a half by five and a half, then sewed it together using a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Glue the cushion onto the back to make a chair. There is definitely not enough space in this room with the two beds, so we'll have to take out certain pieces to create our scenes. Bring over our potted plant from our toilet paper rolls crafts video, we still have a lot of white space that I kind of want to break up. So I'm taking some pink mesh fabric. I cut a strip and hang it around the window. Oh yeah, much better. And we need a large piece of art for this wall here. So I cut a piece of foam board, cover it with a coordinating fabric, paint coffee stirs gold, glue them onto the edge to make framed art adding a splash of color to that wall. Instead of a TV, we're just gonna bring over our laptop to finish up our room. Actually, let's add a little more to the shelves, like our neon light sign, a few more books, and our YouTube play button for a little sparkle to add more detail to the space. Okay, so I'm loving the room, but what about the sofa? If we remove the bedding, we can take those two cushions we made earlier, place them on the back of one of the beds. I'm using a few sewing pins to hold them in place to make a couch. 
the back is just cushions, so they're not super strong. So I'm gonna place my couch against a wall to give it more support. Then add a few pillows from the bed to create a living room scene. And if we want, we can still place one of the beds in the room. And because I love options, if we place the two beds together side by side, add a double mattress, make a bigger comforter, add the bedding, we now have a king size bed with a little seating area at the bottom. I think this space is so much fun because just like Barbie, we can mix and match the pieces to create the look we want. And when playtime is over, everything fits neatly inside the box. Just place everything inside of the balcony, close the side wall, and we're just gonna store the floor on the outside so nothing gets bent. So correction, everything almost fits in the box. I could probably get it in the box if I just move a few things around, but here we are. Okay, so I didn't stick exactly to the script. I didn't include the TV stand with a TV or the popcorn, but we have a balcony with a city view that we can actually place the doll outside on. We made the shelves with all of the nice clutter, and I ended up adding the curtains. Overall, I don't think we did too bad. Thank you for joining us for this versus. Let us know in the comments down below if we came close or missed the mark. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Happy crafting! Bye! Into us,